Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you the uh, Lincoln Aviator This is the uh, 118 scale die cast with full opening pump and this is one of the kind, uh, it's very rare I've never seen it anywhere in the UK or most of the shop that I know in the Europe they don't have this model at all, you know, so uh, it's not made by any of this, you know, well-known company like Auto Art or the Wellies or Maestro Buago not like those one. Uh, I'm not sure who made it to be honest and uh, this is a dealership edition so uh, I don't know whether it's almost wheels or you know uh, can fire it could be anybody uh, I have no clue but it doesn't say anything in the box either so it's very hard to tell anyway I got this one for about a hundred and forty or fifty pounds with the shippings and everything uh, from a small end motor car as usual so I always buy everything from them uh, pretty much uh, most of my motor car I have about 70% or 60% of my motor car come from small end motor car the rest is come from either UK or some random seller from eBay and stuff like that so here we are and uh, this is really cool uh, <laughs> I never seen anything like this you know the packaging is really awesome it comes with this wooden board with the Lincoln Aviator names on it so that is looks so awesome it looks so premium I mean it's almost like a, you know like BBRs and all this frontier art those racing models that can't fly the car thing and so yeah it looks really nice model car to collect but I don't like racing model at all uh, I only collect the die cast uh, figures and model car apart from Hot Toys, Spider-Man and Captain Marvels and stuff like that so yeah, and that's why my channel is called Diecast Collector, so <laughs> obviously. Anyway, so let's take a closer look on that. Wow, the first impression is really heavy, I have to say. Uh, it's insane amount of diecast in here. It's probably the diecast that they use is like, so thick and uh, probably the whole, everything else is made of diecast. Wow, actually it's cool to touch underneath as well. And underneath this uh, board is also diecast piece, that not plastic. No wonder this is heavy. It's, gonna be definitely more than a kilo for sure all right so be careful when you try to put it on the shelf and gonna weight up this guy uh, otherwise your glass if you have glass cabinet and stuff gotta be careful not to put too much heavy stuff on it I've seen on social media whether the shelf is a uh, collapse and IKEA shelf or like a smash in pieces and stuff like that so yeah anyway so this is really nice and heavy motor car and you got loads of little little detail as well i really love all the chrome surround and all the edges here it looks like a really like a premium luxury car actually lincoln is uh i know that in america is one of those um you know like a mercedes for the american car basically like cadillac and you know lincoln's are like bmw's and audi's and mercedes and porsche that sort of level and uh, in Japan it's obviously Lexus, Infinity and stuff like that, Aqua so those are the premium brand from those um, you know country and Lincoln is you know no exception it's really it's premium quality here uh, even the motor car looks really awesome I really love this grill check this out guys I absolutely love it <laughs> wow look at so shiny and so you know how much uh, reflection is coming on these little things like a bunch of spire you know diamonds on it and on top of that these are actual grill mesh and you can see the radiator behind it as well you know you can actually put the whole things in there and all the grills are actually you can push punch through it it's actually you know see through and all these grills that looks like a real uh, proper metal it is actually metal actually wow I thought it's gonna be plastic actually it's a metal I can feel that it's like really is metal can you hear that yeah so it's like a dun 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 it's like an actual metal piece in it no wonder this is really heavy now when you open it and uh, obviously you don't get to see a lot of stuff there uh, unfortunately but uh, you got some decals and pretty much all the engine part is all cover there is no magnetic piece to remove the cover or anything like that which is a shame and I like this strut style, um, sort of like a mini chump. They used to do that now a lot. So, and if I open, shut it down. And the light detail is really nice as well. As you can see here, all the matrix light, all the LED lights are all clearly visible, uh, which is really nice. And you, on the side, you got aviator and all the shiny, glossy uh, silver piece here. 
and the wheels turn uh, and link with steering wheel as usual okay and then the suspension is there nice suspension kick and uh, spin very nicely and the only thing that I have to say the brake disc is so tiny considering the size of the car wow that's a bit weird <laughs> <laughs> uh, it got to be bigger than this, right? In the real life, I mean, the brake disc is so small. I'm not sure you can see it clearly, but I can see it in here. Well, actually, it's kind of barely can see it. But this is very small, both front and back. This is a bit old, you know. Apart from that, it looks so realistic so far. Everything looks good. Uh, I'm not complaining anything. Uh, there's little white pieces in here. I don't know. Oh, they're, they're just probably uh, some kind of polish or whatever. Okay, I can get rid of that. No problem. Right. Anyway, underneath there, you got massive amount of detail. That is really insane amount of detail. They are really cool. And this whole black pieces are actual metal, not plastic. So that's why it's cold to touch and very heavy. And look at all the detail, all the drive trains and all the uh, you know gearbox and all the exhaust pipes and everything. Exhaust pipes are really nice and detailed as well. It looks like a real exhaust pipe. And you got all the parking sensors there, and uh, got all the lights there, all the you know LED black bars and everything, which is really nice. Um, so so far so good. Um, if I lift up the uh, thing. Inside are also very nice, nice carpet, brown interior, which is really cool. And you also have the uh, heat line as well, which is really nice. And all this stuff in nice plastic. And the plastics are all painted as well. And you got the third row seat, which is folded, by the way. I'm not sure you can't bring this up. I don't know. Uh, it can't kind of move a little bit if I push it, but don't want to force anything either. So. Yeah, if you have one, uh, maybe you can tell me whether they, they can actually bring it back up or I don't know. Uh, at the moment, I'm just going to leave it as it is. But anyway, so it's really nice detail. I'm happy with that. Totally happy with that so far. And the roof is also, this is made of plastic, by the way. Uh, sorry, not plastic, die cast, by the way. This whole piece is pl uh, die cast. Plastic is a sunroof, but unfortunately, sunroof doesn't open, unfortunately. And right, let's look at the interior, right? Interior is gonna be awesome, I'm pretty sure, because the, I saw it on the photo when I ordered it, it's really nice. The speakers are very nice, and wow, nice grill. And you can see that it's very nice detail here. And all the plastics are very nice quality feel, and the seat is also nice. The seat can go forward and backward as well, as you can see, right? Carpet is there, and Interiors, all the dies and all the center consoles and you can see everything. Not sure you can move the glove box, probably not. Yeah, that doesn't move. But the rest is all nicely there. Um, if I zoom in a little bit, hopefully the zooming feature work better this time. Yeah, so it is very nice quality car actually. And also the, of course, quality model as well. So there we are. Right, so, and then uh, you do have a sunroof as well. And, I'm not sure you can bring any sun visor down, probably not, unfortunately. But uh, it looks good so far. Um, if I go to the passenger side on the back, and then uh, yeah, you've got all the stuff. And you've got glove box there, you can't, they, they don't actually move this armrest. They kind of fix, but they are very soft plastic-ish. So, um, I'm not sure how how soft they are but I don't want to force anything but anyway so it's really nice interior oh uh, the back seat can also move by the way as you can see so both front and back can move so that means can I bring this seat up okay I can fit my fingers in there I'll figure it out later and let you know in the description if I can manage to lift this up so yeah um, so far so good let's go to the other side and let's look at the uh, passenger side oops there you go right so on this side is also nice seats can move forward backward as usual and uh, yeah looking really good interior uh, all the dials and everything you can see and um, if i can bring this one up as well yeah i can do that i think you must be able to move this uh, back seat up there uh, I can see that there is a headrest and all these stuff is on there. 
so maybe I will try to do that later on and see whether I can do that anyway uh, I hope that this video is helpful if you think you're getting one uh, it does exist so and they have a lot of different one as well you got continental which is a sedan uh, full door saloon and you also have the uh, uh, navigator which is even bigger SUV and you got Corsair as well so you got quite a lot of different models on the Lincoln section on the uh, small M motor car so do check it out right so anyway thanks for watching uh, I will see you next time